Internet land, what's good? It's Cheese Producer. Welcome to part two of Note Repeat Made Easy Within Reason. This part of the tutorial is actually just going to show you some tweaks that you can add to the combinator that will make things a little bit more interesting. And of course, I'm not sitting here telling you, like I said before, that I'm the originator of these. This is just some things that I thought of um, as I was coming up with this um, and just listening to other tracks that people have made and figuring, trying to figure out ways that I could do certain things. So let's get into it. Now, something else that you can do, all right, uh, that I like to do is I like to take the button two and turn it into like a halftime uh, button. And basically what that means is, so like if I'm doing a track, normally when I do a track, I uh, program at double the tempo. So the eighth notes sound like 16th notes, 16th, 30 seconds, so on and so forth. Um, if I want eighth notes, I'll hit the halftime and it will turn the eighth notes to quarter note resolution, which will feel more like an eighth note re resolution. Let's go back to here. Sync rate. Okay, now if I hit this button, notice it goes all the way up to 128. That is not what I want. I want to press this button and for it to be a quarter note and when I release it for it to be an eighth note so what we're gonna do here is you're gonna press the button and you're gonna see it goes up to 128th and you also see that the max value is 15 and the minimum is zero here are a list of the corresponding note rates for the combinator and the RPG 8 and you should just set them as such so for example for the eighth note the minimum should be value 8 and the maximum should be value 5 so you have 8th note when it's unpressed and quarter note when it is pressed okay so 8th note is 8 that's what I want for the minimum so let's just turn that one to 8 real quick okay so we're at 8 7 6 5 and let's make the maximum 5 So let's turn the halftime off. It goes back to eighth note. Turn it on, it goes a quarter note. Okay, now if you do that with each one, uh, you'll have like kind of a halftime feel whenever you uh, press that button. Okay, um, I'm, just gonna, I'm not gonna do it for everyone because that will take too long. Okay, now the other thing that you can do that will make things a little bit interesting for you is you can put in, you can, uh, attach an LFO to the modulation on the Kong, okay? And some people would attach to the pitch, but the only thing about that, if you do that, it will change the pitch of all the samples that are in Kong, and that's not, I mean, it might be what you want. It's not what I want, okay? Um, what I would do is I will attach the module, um, an LFO to the modulation. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a Thor, okay? Let's reset the device, just, you know, just for safekeeping. And take this LFO2 out and put it into the modulation. Okay, now uh, what you wanna do is flip this around. Now, as I told you before, the note that we have repeating is on pass 16. Okay, so let's just open up um, and then Nano Sampler, okay? And you see right here it says Mod Wheel, it can go the mod wheel can go to either the pitch or to the decay let's put it to the pitch you can have it either pitch up or pitch down okay then go into the thor you might actually want to bring the thor up so you don't have to go so far um show programmer and then if you want to set it to key sync or to tempo sync you can okay and then whatever um you know, shape you want it. I usually leave it at, at the uh, sine wave shape because that's the smoothest one. Um, and then you can, uh, if you do it with key sync, I mean, excuse me, with tempo sync, you can then select the tempo that you want it to do and it can do some interesting things with the pitch of the sample. So for example, if you have a hi-hat sample in there, you can get a nice, uh, kind of a nice nice effect with the hi-hat with the pitch kind of being modulated every so often 
Okay, so what I'm going to show you right here is that next to that modulation input, there is a a little knob that allows you to increase or decrease the intensity of the effect. So basically, our effect here is that we're, uh, we're having the pitch modulated. So the higher that knob is turned, the higher and lower the pitch will, will be uh, modulated when the LFO goes up and down. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, I believe that's about it. Now, let's say your sandwich cheese. So I want to um, repeat more than just a hi-hat. Well, you can just simply repeat the process that we did before, okay, with the other pads, okay? Um, but just understand that now when you introduce another set of RPG-8s and CV splitters that you're going to have to... Um, then take the notes our last one was up to what's this d sharp two so the next set will be will be starting at e2 and instead of you having to go through this again and like and create them again and name them just simply select them okay press alt and boom all right now they're already created they're already connected for you unfold the cvs Okay, take this merger and bring it up to path 15. So like I said before, okay, you have to go down. You see that the note lanes are much wider than they should be, but just bring this up to E2. Bring this back to E2. Bring this one to F. F sharp to. Okay, and like, you know, you can like yeah, I'm 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 sure there are like several other uh ways that you can like tweak this combinator to make it you know crazier and make it do other dope things and that's one of the things i really really love about reason um is that like everybody uses it differently you know no and there's no one right way and there you know it kind of really is no wrong way it's just whatever works for you all right so this has been no repeating reason um made pretty easy at least i think um and i hope this was helpful and i hope that uh helps you stay creative uh what i would suggest you do once you do this like i said before save the combinator maybe make it a part of your template um your template track um that you have that opens up and you know and then that way you can just you can just start just boom 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 drop drums in or however you uh load your drums in and you can just get going and you know you can be as creative as pop as possible as quickly as possible all right what I'm going to show you here is the effect that the LFO uh, router to the modulation and the modulation router to the pitch has on the sample on a note repeat. So I'm just going to uh, do the note repeat with the hi-hat. So you can hear it. You know, obviously some of that was a little bit extreme, but you can hear the different possibilities that are available. All right. So hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, keep rocking out and I will see you next Tuesday on a beat grind. Peace.